I'm going to show you how to make crepes from scratch, and it really isn't very difficult. The recipe, in fact, is quite simple. It just takes these four ingredients. It takes milk, and I like to use 1% milk to keep it low fat. It takes eggs, flour, and oil. I use canola oil because it's heart healthy and has no flavor. Now, as far as the flour, I like to use whole wheat pastry flour for the extra fiber. Uh, you can use all purpose if you like. You can use half and half if you like. But I encourage you to try whole wheat or whole grain pastry flour for these crepes. They're really, really good. Okay, so here's the recipe. You just get your bowl, and it takes a one and a quarter cups of milk. And you don't really need to use anything more than 1% uh, uh, milk. It's got plenty of, uh, is that one and a quarter? You can see that? Yeah, I think it is. All right, one and a quarter cups of milk. Uh, you need two eggs. I don't like to crack eggs on the bowl because it leaves too many little pieces, so I crack it on the counter. Two eggs, one and two. And it takes one cup of flour and I think there's a little tear in the, yeah. It doesn't have to be exact. You can always amend the recipe after if it feels too thick or too thin. But here's that one cup of flour and it takes one tablespoon of oil. Now at this point you can use um, a handheld mixer. Uh, you can even do this in a blender. Uh, but I just think a whisk that gets the job done and it uh, saves washing too many extra dishes. So you whisk this until it's nice and smooth. And whisks are really, uh, you know, I know they're, they're a little tough to clean, but boy, they really get the job done when you have to combine things and not have any lumps. And this took uh, 10, 15 seconds, and the batter is all done. Now, this is the kind of pan that I like to use for crepes. I think it's called a saute pan. I don't believe that you need a crepe pan to make them. In fact, the curved sides make it a lot easier for it to slide out. And also, a nonstick makes it much, much easier. You don't need hardly any butter at all. In fact, all we're going to do is just rub a little butter on this pan in between, in between crepes. Okay, the pan's heating up, and I think the batter is ready. Let's see how it looks. See, it's just the right thickness. That's about what it should be like. And um, the pan is, you can test the pan by just sprinkling a bit of water on it. If, it. if it bounces and sizzles, yeah, it's good to go. So, this is how we're going to make crepes. You take that stick of butter, you just rub it, and then this is the trick right here. You have, this is fun. You put about a third of a cup of batter in, and you just roll it around like that, back on the heat. And these cook very quickly, so um, you start testing it in about maybe a minute. It's, it's about a minute on the one side, and then about 10 seconds on the other side, and it's done. Now I'm going to show you. The edge is a little bit brown. It moves because it's nonstick. You just get under it, flip it over, back on the heat, and it's maybe 10 seconds, and it's done. I want to make sure you got the technique of rolling it around, so I'm going to show you here. Uh, again, you rub with a little bit of butter, and it's just about kind of trusting yourself and kind of roll it around. Put it in the middle, and then just kind of roll the pan around like that. See? And if you have a, a, an empty spot, you can kind of fill it in. And if you really want to, you can actually add, see that little hole right there? You can just throw some batter in like that. There's lots of ways to do it. Now, listen, you can do so many things with crepes. You can fill them with uh, farmer's cheese and make uh, uh, cheese blintzes. You can put fruit in them. People put uh, chicken, fish, vegetables. You can roll them up with ricotta cheese with a red sauce and have manicotti. But uh, the best thing that I do as I'm making them is I like to roll them up with a little jam, my favorite jam, red raspberry. I just kind of spread it around like that and roll it up. I do this while I'm eating one. I'm making the next one. So this is how I have my weekend morning breakfast, and I just eat it like this. Mm. I eat like about six of these with jam and stuff. Well, actually, the best thing to put in them is Nutella, but you never heard that from me.